Hey ladies, so I'm back with another video and as you see from the title, this is going to be a 2017 brow update routine of how I do my brows. I will leave my old video down below, but that's like, girl, 2012 which is old and trash so if you like the way I do my brows then just keep watching the first product that I'll be using is this Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in chocolate then I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hill number 12 brush and this is just their angled brow brush and it's very flat and angled then I'll be using this elf professional eyeliner brush which is very square and flat to carve out your brows with the concealer now I have a fresh clean slate of my brow and I'm going to be using my ABH dip brow in chocolate again and sorry it's very blurry in and out. This is a new camera so I'm just trying to adjust to it and I'm going to be using my ABH angled brush in the number 12. Now what I usually do is take product on the back of my cap and I take product and leave product there just to not make harsh lines and to even everything out. So people usually start in the front of their brow but I like to start at the ending of my brow. I'm just trying to find a good angle to show you guys starting with light strokes. I'm going to be taking that on the bottom of my brow and just making that arch and then carving it out very strictly at the end. And I'm going to be doing the same thing to the top and carving that out at the end. Now I'm just going to take more product. And just finish carving out the bottom all the way from the beginning to the end. And for the top, I'm going to start more towards the front and leaving some room to blend out. I'm going to leave some product on the back of my cap to lightly fill in the brow. And this may take time because you want to lightly do this. Sorry for the blurriness. Like I said, I'm still trying to get used to um, this camera. So what I'm going to do is lightly take some product and just fill in the brow sparsely. You don't want to do this too harsh because you're just going to look freaking crazy. So now what I'm doing is just lightly filling in the whole brow, which I'm going to leave the beginning undone and just lightly feather that up. And mostly why I feather it up in the beginning is because your hairs in the front do grow straight up. So now I'm going to take a little bit more product and just fill in the front of my brow. And now I'm going to take my spoolie and just blend everything out and fill anything in that I feel like that needs to be filled. Now I'm just blending in the front. Again, sorry for the blurriness. Now I'm going to be using my Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the color medium. And I'm just going to carve under my brow with lightly strokes, making sure that I get the tail of the brow also just to make everything look very clean and I'm going to blend that out and blend that concealer out as much as you can it looks very nice when um, you have it light but you don't want to look crazy so just make sure you blend all of that out now doing the same thing to the top of the brow we're just gonna take product and just lightly carve out the brow and the more time you take carving out the brow the more better it will come out 
Now, lastly, I'm going to be using the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel. And sorry I did not mention this in the beginning. And this clear gel is just an extra step to make sure your brows are slaying. And this just keeps any sparse hairs or any hairs from lifting or moving around. This is the final result. I hope you ladies loved my video please like comment and subscribe and stay beautiful ladies Mwah.